Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Now, this was a rather exciting year, which concerns the baking boot camps, the Salati baking boot camps, where our very own Chef Zola and Chef Clem from the Afternoon Express team, they scoured the country for the best baker in town. Now, this time they had a bit of a twist because they wanted that best baker to compete for the national final. And those three finalists then gathered here in Cape Town at the Ginger and Lime Food Studio to for a serious year's bake-off to find out who will be the final winner that will come baking right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. The Ginger and Lime Food Studio was the proving ground for the top Salati Baking Bootcamp bakers from Cape Town, Josie and Durban who got to choose their own recipe for this final competition. So you're going to be judged on three criteria. The first one is the flavour of your cake because taste is important. Of course the decoration and the appearance of your cake because it's got to look pretty, right? And then the third component is the mystery ingredient and how well you incorporate it into your original cake recipe, okay? The first one, number one, is desiccated coconut. The second one is marshmallows. The third is some fresh thyme. The fourth is chilies. And the fifth ingredient is rooibos tea. Number two. Marshmallows. You know, this can go either way for me. I'm, hope I'm hoping it's going in the direction that I want it to. I'm gonna do it. I was hoping someone would get time. Oh my gosh. Here we go, pick a number. Four! <laughs> the challenge, the one I complained about. But anyway, we're gonna work it out. You guys are gonna be fine. I'm excited to see how you incorporate your mystery ingredients. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Set? Go! <laughs> the mystery ingredients certainly threw a wooden spoon in the works, but the contestants took on the challenge wholeheartedly as they settled into preparing their cakes. My game plan was purely to, to have fun, to enjoy. I tried to sort of, you know, take the competition, you know, out of the equation and really just enjoy every moment. Hilary, there's some amazing zesty smells coming from your station. So what are you making? Okay, my cake is a lemon meringue cake. So what I'm starting with now is my lemon curd, which I need to set in the fridge. And then uh, I'm going to get onto my cake batter. Judging from what I've seen so far, I'm a bit worried about Hillary. His recipe is really, really long and he's only got three hours. Chili, wow, it was think quick, quick, fast. You know what you're gonna do. I'm gonna make it sure that it's gonna spice up a little bit because I've got a little bit of cinnamon. So it's gonna spice up a little bit of the cake, just give it a vroom vroom. I look forward to the vroom vroom. Okay, okay, good luck. The chilies are worrying her, but actually, they're not such a huge deal in her recipe. I mean, apples, caramel, chili, just adding a pinch of spice will elevate the entire apple cake. The time, it kind of stumped me. I was worried where I was going to use it. I'm thinking possibly in the decoration. I'm trying to figure that one out still. I'm worried about that just because, you know, we want to see more than just a decoration. So I want to see her incorporated into the recipe somehow. After three long hours, the bakers put the final touches on their cakes, which they will serve to a discerning judging panel, including Zola, Clive Timpson from Salati Sugars, and Denise Levy, owner of Ginger and Lime. I would have changed anything from my cake. I planned it and I love it, and it was the first thought, so I went for it. I think it looks really good, don't you think? Yes, I like its simplicity. And it smells really, really apple -y. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that mm. cream. Oh, there's a chili. It doesn't interfere with the taste mm -hmm. of the lemon, mm -hmm. but it gives you that little, that little the twist at the end. It was really an honor to have my, my cake tasted. It was a bit, you know, intimidating. The marshmallow is very sticky. I love the colours as well, very the unusual. Lemon curd, mm. excellent. Definitely cuts through the sweetness. Absolutely. Also very moist. Mm. Delicious, decadent, mm -hmm. and I think we're going to have to have a little lie down afterwards. <laughs> my own opinion of my product was that it, it looked amazing. I'm happy with the taste. The time actually came out very nice, so I'm happy with what I put for it. I, I don't think I've ever seen a cake more fudgy and brownie-like. Mm. Okay. But not too sweet, funny enough. And the herb is there. Absolutely. Um. Wow. We've got quite a decision that I have. Mm -hmm. Very high caliber of cakes that we tasted today, so thank you for that. Janelle, your apple cake was the best. Congratulations. <laughs> Zanelle was 
sensational. She came with a concise decision. She knew exactly what her cake was gonna look like. She knew what she was making. And even though the other two had a lot of components to their cake, she stuck to her gun. She knew what she wanted and she achieved it.